Hello students. Today we are going to learn about what is science. Fatima is a curious little girl. She loves exploring the world around her and asks lots of questions. One day, she saw a beautiful butterfly and wonders how it could fly. She asks her mom, but her mom didn't know the answer. Fatima decides to find out for herself. She gathers some materials like paper and scissors. She makes paper airplanes and tries to fly them around the room. She discovers that the shape and size of the wings affect how far the airplane could fly. Fatima realizes that she is doing science. So students, do you know what is science? Science is all about asking questions making observations and experimenting to find answers. It's a way to learn about the world around us and understand how things work. Fatima is now able to explain to her mom how a butterfly can fly. She is really proud of herself and excited to keep exploring and discovering new things. Now that we know what is science, Let's find out how scientists learn new things. This diagram shows processes that scientists use to answer questions. Many call this the scientific method. Scientists don't always use all of the steps. They may not use them in the same order. Scientists are curious people who observe the world around them and try to understand it. To observe means to use your senses to learn about something. Scientists ask questions about the things they observe. For example, they might ask why do plants need sunlight to grow? You can ask too. When you ask questions about the things you see, smell, hear, taste or feel, you are a scientist. Scientists then look for information about the questions they are asking. They might read books, look at pictures or even do experiments that other scientists have done. Scientists may make a guess about what they think might be the answer to their question. This guess is called a hypothesis. For example, they make a guess that plants need sunlight to make food. Scientists then do experiments to see if their hypothesis is true or not. They might set up an experiment where they grow plants with and without sunlight and see what happens. After the experiments, scientists look at the data and decide if their hypothesis was correct or not. They might make graphs or charts to help them understand the results. Finally, scientists use what they learn from the experiment to draw a conclusion. They might say, our hypothesis was correct. Plants do need sunlight to make food. Or they might say, our hypothesis was wrong. Plants can still grow without sunlight. Sometimes, the results of an experiment lead to new questions. These questions can be used to form a new hypothesis and perform new tests. The process starts all over again. This process of asking and answering questions is called the scientific method. So remember, scientists use many skills as they work through the scientific method. These skills help them gather information and answer questions they have about the world around us.